Hi, Dave Youngquist, and welcome to Last Cavalry TV. In today's episode, I'm going to show you some techniques for creating cool, worn, weathered wood effects on a crate from the company uh, Value Gear Details. And when we're completed with that, I want to show you some of the progress that I've been making on some of my most recent projects. Let's get started. So what we have here is a 1 16th scale crate, again from Value Gear Details. Uh, it's a new product from them. Uh, super uh, nice detail on this. And I've primed it with uh, a very dark brown. And our first coat, I'm going to be using Panzer Aces, light mud. And of course, this step is not a whole lot to, to show you here, but we just want to get a real nice even coat. Now there's some other colors you could use as a base coat, but I like this one. It's kind of, you know, kind of a, a nice tannish light gray. And I'll finish this and then we'll start our first filter and layering effects. So after letting this dry, and I speed it up the drying by using a hair dryer, I'm going to my favorite color, burnt umber, and we're going to thin it out dramatically. And what we want to do is just put a wash on this. Real thin, you can see it's running everywhere, that's okay. And one trick when you're doing a wash with acrylics, make sure you cover every single area. That way you don't get the uh, the dreaded tide marks. You can see it's real simple, real sloppy. You just got to let it dry. And then we can start adding more shadow tones. This just gives us a nice base to work with. And you notice there's some blotches and stuff. Whoops. Ah! That's quite all right. Again, we'll dry it out with the hair dryer real quick and add our next steps. Now that the burnt umber wash is dried, I'm going to be using some Vallejo Camo Black Brown and we're going, I'm, I've switched to a, uh, a better quality brush. The other brush, and for any base coating, I tend to use the you know, least expensive uh, brushes possible and we're just going to do a little bit of uh, outlining but again you'll notice that the the mixture is very very thin and basically just outlining the, the separation in the board and with repeated applications, there's some nail holes we want to, so you can see we're painting again really with just dirty water. And of course we'll add a lot of highlights to this. We want to add a shadow to the rope. I'm painting at a funny angle just so you can see what I'm I'm doing. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of shadow effect right now down on the lower the lower edges. And you notice we're not being, you know, overly fussy because we're going to be adding so many more layers of paint. Wet the brush again, move that down. But again, I just wanted to add just, just a bit of shadow to the bottom edges. And then, as I mentioned, I tend to repeat this step. And you can even, at this point, add some blotches, you know, show some scuffs, show some dirt, wear and tear. 
back to the hair dryer. Okay, now that the uh, camo black brown has dried, I'm going to add a bit of Iraq sand, but I'm not thinning this out at all. And from here on out, it's going to be a little bit of, you know, adding some dark tones, adding some light tones. But the Iraq sand, and we're just going to hit, and you notice I'm using the cheap brush again, just hitting the edges. And it might be a little stark to start with, but again, more layers of uh, you know washes and filters, what have you, will will adjust that. Again, just looking to add a little bit of wear and tear on some of the edges, and then you see with the stippling motion, we can create. Some kind of cool effects. Again, do not thin the paint on this step. You know, so I'm not dry brushing, it's more oop, a little bit more of a stippling type of an effect. Wipe that away if you don't like what you see. little bit more on this leading edge. I'm trying to get my hand out of your way. Let's add another tone. Now I'm going to be adding a bit of Vallejo Pale Sand and again, I've gone to the, uh, the better quality brush, and we're just going to hit the edges. I'm going to put a little effect near the nail holes. And remember, we're going to be applying another wash over this, you know, to blend all these tones together. But the idea is using the mul multiple colors, you know, never covering up, uh, let's say, a previous color to, uh, you know, create some of these, some of these effects. And so I'm just hitting the outside edges. With this. Do, 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 a little bit there. A couple nail holes. We'll highlight those. Here, a little more on the edge, and for the uh, the rope itself, I will thin this down a little bit, and that way we can get this in, and then we'll go back in and put all the shadows in for the uh, uh, the braiding. chips you see it's fairly random but that's what that's what makes it look like it's been you know beat up thrown off the back of a truck etc let's go to another color now we go back to or I should say we're going to be adding extremely thinned out Vallejo smoke because right now you can see you know, the effects are starting to get there, but it's way too contrasty, not very realistic. So we want to apply a wash over all of this, and you notice it'll brown the tone out just slightly. And we might repeat this step a couple times, but what we want to do is really bring all those, those colors together. That way it won't seem, you know, so dramatic, more realistic. You see it's starting to tone it down already. Now if we want to take a little bit of that uh, smoke when it's not thinned down and you want to add a 
you know, a few stains or something like that. Thin that out. It's too much for me. Yeah, that, that looks a little better. You know, now's a good time to do so because the paint's wet. Back to the hair dryer. So, now that the, the wash has dried, I want to go in and, again, using the Camel Black Brown, we need to add the detail. I'm going to do a shadow line underneath that. Again, Camel Black Brown, really thinned out. Yeah, a little bit more here. And then we'll top this off, but we so now we've got the, uh, you can see the twists, and we'll highlight that uh, once more. So, I'm using a, uh, basically all the colors I've used already, the smoke, the burn umber, the cam uh, German camo black brown. I've got a little bit of the Panzer Aces uh, splinter base also. And I just want to add, again, thinning it out, want to add some just dirt effects. This thing's been sitting in the dirt. Now, obviously, if you're doing, you know, fresh boxes on a, uh, you know, in the bed of a truck, things might not make sense. But let's say you're doing a wooden structure. These techniques aren't for crates, really. I mean, they're just, you know, any type of worn wood effect that you would like to, uh, to achieve. Get a little, put a highlight there. You know, so pure water and we just want to darken it out. I'm actually even going to switch to the cheaper brush. They're both by Da Vinci. I use uh, Da Vinci uh, quite often, Windsor Newton. You know, but Da Vinci makes a really great inexpensive brush. They really tend to hold up. So <clears throat> as we can see what we're doing here, we're just taking and Just creating a few more beat up effects, and you know, the more random, the better. You know, so I keep going into the water to burn umber, a couple splotches there. You know, maybe want to just for some interest darken that one corner. Just be kind of, kind of cool. A little bit of this splinter base, which is a real nice, lighter color. Uh, some dried, dried dirt. Again, yeah, buildings. Uh, you know, any type of you know, uh, farm equipment. You know, really what, whatever you could think of. Uh, fences, of course. Duh, that would be a perfect one you know, for these type of effects. And then finally, <clears throat> I'm going to go back to the pale sand and detail this out. You know, hit the highlights, add more contrast. You can see it's making it pop a little bit. I am not thinning the paint at all. We need to control it. There you go. Here's a sneak preview of the next video, which will be part two of painting a monster fantasy bust with acrylics. You can see we've uh, added that crate. Here's an update on the never ending trench project and much more has been done on the groundwork. I promise to have this done before the, uh, the next video films. figures will be added in the next week or two and then the final bits and bobs will be added we'll put this one to bed this has been Dave Youngquist Last Cavalry TV thanks so much for stopping by